Right, let's all just, let's all keep our fingers crossed that this camera is going to stay and not fall and smash because I have just cancelled my insurance for it because... Well, I don't really know why now I'm filming it doesn't really make sense. Good morning everybody welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little day in the life vlog kind of video. Um, I'm currently just getting ready it is 20 to 11. Um, I am going into London today for work. I work from home like 95% of the time but sometimes I do have to go into London and it is a rather long journey for me because I do currently live in Birmingham well not in Birmingham like on the outskirts West Midlands basically but it's like a three hour journey for me to get into London so it is like a whole it's a whole ordeal but I'm doing the late shift today so I don't actually start work until 3 p.m so I'm gonna get the train at half one I actually don't get it why do I look I look ghostly white. I actually have to drive an hour to get the train because basically I finish work at 11 p.m. And because my office is based in Canary Wharf, I don't get to Euston to get a train back until like quarter to 12. Um, so I actually can't get a train back to Birmingham, which is like my closest station just because there's no trains that run that late so i have to get the train back to where i actually grew up because that's like a really good commuter place for london so basically long story short i do not know why i am living here i don't know why i'm living here but yeah i'm currently just getting ready i'm actually going to curl my hair because i haven't curled it for a while and i just i'm feeling like i want to curl it i thought i would kind of bring you along with me obviously i can't actually film once i'm doing my shift just because that's a bit weird um but i can vlog you know the process i can vlog i can vlog my commute for you i actually think that a lot of people have fairly long commutes these days because ever since covid it seems like so many companies have gone hybrid so people are kind of able to live further away from their office which i think is really good but yeah, I am hoping to move to London at some point in the future. But if anyone has seen the London housing market, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Like, unless you're prepared to offer £500 above asking price, just don't even bother. And also, don't even bother. You can't even view it. Like, these places are gone before you view. It's absolutely crazy. This curling iron is the best thing ever it is a remington hair curler i don't actually think they sell it anymore because it's quite old but the barrel is just so big it creates like really big waves once you brush it out love it so much but yeah i'm gonna finish curling my hair and then i need to get dressed i need to walk my dog actually what's the i'm running behind schedule i'm running behind schedule okay this is what the hair is now looking like i am going to brush this out for you because i thought i would do it on camera because i love seeing people brush their curls out chico if you dare we anywhere my dog is in the room right here we go watch the magic oh i just love brushing them out i feel like they go so like bouncy and they just look so nice. What do we think? Okay, this hair is full of secrets. Right, that is everything. That is the hair and makeup done. I know you're probably thinking, Kelly, <laughs> why are you making this much effort to go to work? Um, Listen, it is a rare occasion that I see people these days. It's a rare occasion that I go into the office. It's a rare occasion I actually see my colleagues face to face. So... I like to make an effort for when I do go in just because it makes me feel good and also I'm going into London people like I need to I need to look somewhat put together do you want to say hi Chico would like to say hi to all the fans Chico has so many fans honestly it's kind of ridiculous like everyone loves you no one even cares about me they just click on my videos to see you do you have anything to say to people no the one thing I hate when I go to London is leaving my little puppy but well i say he's a puppy he's not a puppy anymore he is one one year old he's currently just looking out the window all the cars going past 
Tigo, are you going to miss mummy today? He always misses his mummy. He knows that I'm going somewhere whenever I get ready because I don't ever get ready. <laughs> I honestly think I need to start Chico his own like YouTube channel or something because the amount of subscribers that have subscribed for this little dog is unbelievable. So thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed. I've seen all of your comments. Everyone is just obsessed with Chico and I love it because I mean who wouldn't be obsessed with this little angel boy? Who wouldn't be obsessed with you? Oh my god I love him so much. He's literally the light of my life. I don't know what I would do without him. I live by myself. Like, he is my only companion. I work from home. I'm basically a recluse at this point. I don't see anyone. So, having my little puppy is very important. Right, you go chill on the bed. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I need to pick an outfit. And then, I have like an hour to eat. Pack my bag. Oh, just all like boring stuff. I have to do every time I go into London it's such an ordeal because it's so far away like I need to make sure I actually have stuff with me but yeah also I don't know if you can tell I have ditched the fake tan for the first time in winter so far I know we're not actually technically in winter it's autumn but I thought I would ditch the fake tan just because I feel like I've become addicted to it again and I don't want to get to a place where like I feel ugly without tan and I'm at that I'm at that place right now so I'm trying to embrace the paleness and I'm actually kind of enjoying it this morning I was like how do I do my makeup with no tan because most of my foundations are like much darker but I managed to dig out a little Dior foundation and I'm really happy with it I feel like it looks really nice and natural and I feel like I look quite healthy actually so yeah I'm kind of feeling the no tan for now look at this little angel boy look at him you are so sweet I love you so much. Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm going with. I just thought I would keep it simple, comfy. There's a little dog. <laughs> Chico, I actually match you. Chico, this jumper is the same color as you. Can you believe that? But yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. I actually got this jumper in TK Maxx the other day. If you go into TK Maxx, okay, look through like the jumper, the top section. They have so much Zara. It's ridiculous i think that this was meant to be like 40 pound from zara and i got it for 10 pound from tk max so that was a really good find the only thing i will say is it's a bit like itchy like the material isn't the comfiest but it's warm i mean it'll do and then these legging trouser type things are from i'm pretty sure asos i like them because they've got the flares at the bottom so they're just got a little bit something about them um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wear this and then I'm gonna put on my Zara coat with it So I'll show you like the full look once it's done and then for jewelry I have on this little name necklace. How cute is this? Let me actually show you it the right way around so it Says my name. It's in sterling silver. It's from a company called Caravita. I've actually worked with them before it's from this company here. They very kindly sent this to me and I've never had a name necklace before. So this was very exciting for me because obviously my name isn't something very common. So it's quite difficult to find anything with my name on. So it's really nice to have this little necklace um, with my name on. I really like it. And Caravita stuff always just comes so nicely packaged. So it comes with this little cleaner so you can clean the necklace and then the packaging in itself is just so beautiful it comes with a little bag that you can hold it in and then they also sent me this is honestly so nice this jewelry box which is oh, it's just the best thing ever let me actually sit down and show you yeah they sent me this jewelry box which is so cute because it also has my name on it um and this is actually really handy because i do not have any jewelry boxes that are like transportable all of mine kind of just sit on my dressing table so this one's really good because it's good for like packing and i keep all of my really nice jewelry in here or like my more expensive stuff so you have like a section here for rings and then this can hold like bracelets or necklaces or whatever. And then you also have a little section here for earrings. So I basically just keep all of my nice jewelry in here. And then this is for necklaces, which is such a good way of like organizing it. So you can hang your necklaces and then like the pendant goes in there. But yeah, I love 
being able to like transport my jewelry easily because yeah i feel like jewelry is one of those really weird things where it's like difficult to keep track of like how do you transport it right i'm gonna go downstairs i need to pack my bag i always take my adenola bag whenever i go to london because it's just really big it fits my laptop in and it also just fits in like my water bottle just all the boring stuff that i need to go to london um well that's right right i'm getting ready to leave i just made my dinner because once i'm there i really try not to spend money okay because travel is expensive in itself and then when you get to london and you buy dinner it's literally like 10 pounds so i tried to like make something so i've made myself like a little tuna pasta situation actually no i didn't even put tuna in it oh my god i've literally just got plain pasta oops i've made myself a little pasta salad situation that i'm gonna have for dinner um before i leave i'll just have like a sandwich or something quick i'm actually just getting my coffee ready also i'm repping my company <laughs> with my little water bottle so what i do the night before i go to the office is i always make a cold brew because it is so tiring like it's such a long day it's like 14 hours from when i leave the house to when i get back home it's a long time so i need some sort of like coffee to get me through <laughs> the situation because it is basically a night shift like it's not like a night shift as in like it's not overnight but i don't finish until 11 o'clock at night which is quite late so for anyone that doesn't know by the way i am a journalist that is why my shift times are a little bit strange. I either start at 7 in the morning until 3 p.m. or I do 3 p.m. until 11 p.m. It's like it changes every week. But yeah, I'm just going to pour my cold brew into this little mug. Mug? Travel cup. Um, this keeps it cold as well, which is really handy. So I'll do like that much. And then I'll just top off the rest with milk. And that already has like sweetener in. Um, I just kind of look to guess how much i need like that'll do for me that'll do so that's my coffee sorted give it a little shake and this will keep me going because cold brew has so much caffeine in that it just gives you energy like i could not get through a shift without cold brew honestly like it's it does something else to me of course my kitchen is now a mess but you know what that's a job for tomorrow i'm not here today i need to leave in like half an hour but before i do really exciting news guys really exciting news i am now an ambassador for protein world which is so exciting i honestly never thought a company like that would reach out to me because i used to buy their products religiously when i was in uni it was my go-to every single morning i would have a slender blend protein shake with a couple of biscuits a couple of like belvisa breakfast biscuits and that would be my breakfast every single morning and that was actually when i was in my best shape ever when i used to go to the gym and now i am an ambassador for them which is really really exciting so i'm going to be featuring them in a few like why eat in a days but i thought i would give you a quick little haul of what they sent me because some of this stuff i've not tried so i'm excited and i'm going to take some of it to london today they have sent me their whey protein concentrate i've never actually tried this before but this is in the vanilla ice cream flavor vanilla ice cream so they sent me that and then they sent me their slender blend which is my favorite product of theirs hands down i use it i, I it was like my go-to like i said throughout uni um and this is in banana split flavor which is the best flavor okay just trust me it is the best flavor it tastes like a banana nesquik honestly this is the only protein powder that tastes nice i have tried so many protein powders and i just mm, you know that like taste that they all have this actually doesn't have that it is crazy and it might seem like i'm just saying that because i'm an ambassador um but no honestly it genuinely tastes amazing like if you're looking for a protein powder that isn't going to make you gag slender blend or just protein mold in general is the go-to it's unreal they also sent me i've never actually tried these before but these are their slender bars so these have protein how much protein is in one bar so these have 11 grams of protein and it's like it's basically like a chocolate bar but obviously it's not a chocolate bar and these will be really good to take to london actually just because 
I take so many snacks with me to London, honestly, because I get hungry. And I think especially when you're like traveling, you just get even more hungry. So I need snacks. So I'm gonna bring one of these with me. But yeah, how exciting is that? Like, honestly, who would have thought little old me would be a protein world ambassador it's just absolutely insane to me um but yeah thank you so much protein world for sending that and i will be featuring their products in upcoming videos i don't even know if people enjoy what i eat in the day videos anymore please let me know but i do want to do some more of them so i am really trying to get back on track with my health and my fitness i have really really let myself go because Drum roll, drum, drum, drum roll, drum roll. I am in a new relationship. I know, shocking, really shocking. And I think when you get into a relationship, you do put on a bit of weight, don't you? Like, all we do is eat. And that's, I mean, I've, I've always loved my food, don't get me wrong, but like, I really eat ridiculous amounts when I'm with him. Like, I order desserts non-stop it's not really it's not normal behavior but we all put on weight when we get into relationships don't we so basically what i'm trying to say is i am trying to be a bit healthier i'm trying to <laughs> get back to the old cali before she was all loved up right anyway i'm gonna quickly grab something to eat and then we will set off to london it feels so good filming because i feel like it gives me more motivation <laughs> to actually go to london because sometimes i'm just like i can't do this today like it does take a lot to do that length of travel like mentally preparing yourself for it it takes a lot but we look on the positive side of things and i do split the journey up quite well because i drive for a bit and then i get the train for a bit and then i get the tube and where i work like the office is unbelievable so it definitely makes it worthwhile i'm in the car gonna drive to the train station i really need to leave like right the second um but yeah i'm gonna drive to the train station and get the train <laughs> that is literally all that's happening i've just put on my zara coat over the top also my work shoes literally had dust on them because that's how long it's been since i've been into the office it's been a while it's mostly because i've either been off work um i work the weekend so i get like days off in the week or there's been train strikes like two weeks ago there was train strikes oh my god last week i woke up at half three in the morning to get into the office for seven drove to the train station at 4 a.m got stuck in traffic on the motorway so i had to turn around because like i, I missed my train so then i just ended up working from home honestly it's a whole it's, it's a whole commotion trying to get into london but today fingers crossed we're actually gonna make it if i leave right now otherwise i'm gonna miss it again but yeah i will talk to you once i'm at the train station hopefully maybe who knows um i am a bit awkward with vlogging these days i don't really know how to do it also cancelled my insurance on my camera a week ago the lens cap is broken why did i do that why did i actually do that to be fair i do want to get a new camera but it's not really ideal is it but yeah anyway gonna go gonna drive it's like an hour drive to the train station Woo to be fair i actually quite enjoy the drive just listen to some music um but yeah let's go okay i have made it to the station it is currently half past one my train is in nine minutes so i just need to buy my ticket um i'm not joking right i nearly just got crashed into by a mercedes about four times like i don't know who was driving it but it was it was honestly a problem like they should not be allowed to drive it was just an absolute nightmare is this the train that i need 20 pound to get into london and back it's not really that bad is it also can i just say a rail card is actually so worth it i didn't even realize until i started traveling but it is so worth it right let me just buy this ticket perfecto oh my god please have done this for today surely that's not even joke right now because last week i literally bought my ticket and then couldn't even go because i got stuck in traffic but anyway right i really need to go i think i'm probably going to film some of the other clips maybe on like my phone just because i'm not really feeling whacking out a camera you know um but yeah gonna go and catch my train my skin is looking very glowy isn't it i think it's the dior foundation i used it's dior star foundation 
right okay perfect right i'm gonna go um catch my train i'm feeling a little bit anxious i always get a little bit anxious before i go into london um but i'll be fine i'll be okay <laughs> Going nowhere lately It's time to start all over And go for it Cause they don't even They don't even know me yet But that's something I don't regret Every night I close my eyes And see only lavender dreams, baby What can I do when I'm in just gotten back into my car what an ordeal what an ordeal it is this is currently the time half one in the morning for you guys it's like i haven't even really been gone um but yeah i just got back to the train station walked to my car which by the way is terrifying in a car park at half one in the morning when it's like pretty much empty we're gonna drive home i'll chat to you when i'm back because my god there was drama on the train guys i've got i've got a whole story time for you there was drama oh my gosh what on earth have you been up to today chico you're spraying everywhere right let's go to the toilet come on quick 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 quick, quick. it is currently 22 3 in the morning casual i know um i'm just going to take off my makeup but i thought i would tell you the story time from the train while i'm taking off my makeup chico is currently just laying on my bed bless his little heart he's very excited i have come off the pill i've been off the pill since last november so nearly a year now and my skin is i would honestly say at its worst it's like um everyone says when you come off the pill that this happens so i'm not stressing i'm hoping it'll kind of resolve itself fingers crossed nothing's working at the moment but i have been really nervous to take my makeup off on camera because my skin you can like see it's just really not doing its best i've tried honestly so many things i think I'm actually gonna have to go to a doctor at this point because nothing's working. I did try the Skin and Me um, little cream thing. I know that like, since I bought this, this has been like advertised everywhere. Like every influencer seems to be advertising this. Um, I bought this with my own money. This is $24.99 a month. So it is quite expensive. Um, and I will say when I first started using it, I really saw a difference, but now I feel like my skin's just gone back to the way it was before so i don't know if i mean like basically every month they increase the strength of it so i don't know if maybe my skin has just got used to this strength i don't know i'm gonna stick with it for a couple more months just to see if anything happens but i think at this point i should probably just go to a doctor but anyway please excuse the bad skin is what i'm trying to say but yeah so i was on the train and uh, okay that because I get the train, so my train leaves London at five past midnight, okay? And because I get that train, obviously that's like one of the last trains. So it's always full of people that have been to events in London or people that have been out in London or, you know, kind of people that have normally been out. It's not normally full of people like me that have just done a shift at work. And so it's normally like a fairly... I don't want to say rowdy, but like every time I've got this train, there's always been like drunk people. It's just that kind of train, right? Which I don't really care. Like I actually kind of need distractions to keep me awake because when I get back to the station, I have to do an hour drive back home. So it's kind of good to be kept awake on the train because if I sleep, I'll struggle. But on this particular train okay so i was sat in a fairly empty carriage there was like an elderly couple 
right in front of me and then to my right so i was sat in like a two seater and then next to me there was one of those ones that's like a six seater so you have three on this side three on this side like facing each other for like a group but there was just one girl sat in the corner there on her own and basically i was on the phone to my boyfriend and he could like hear everything because this man was just going crazy oh my god my skin looks so red this man was just like oh my god he was so 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 drunk you could like smell the beer on him but yeah anyway the man was like not really doing any oh my god i actually can't go over how red my skin is um the man actually wasn't doing that much harm to begin with like he was just being you know a bit rowdy whatever standard but then he started coming over and he started talking to the girl that was like next to me and long story short he was just so drunk like he was slurring his words he didn't know where we were but he kept on trying to like touch her like he was in well he wasn't i don't want to say touch her he was invading her personal space essentially um and then he also started rolling some suspicious um substances shall we say it stunk out the train anyway everyone left that carriage right but i did not want to leave this girl because she was on her own she looked younger than me i feel like she was like early 20s um and i just didn't want to leave her on her own with this guy because literally everyone had just decided to move to like the next carriage because this is a fairly like quiet train um but i didn't want to do it so i stayed because I thought, you know, if I leave this poor girl, like, she's just going to be stuck with this man. And anyway, it got to a point where I was like, I think I might have to text British Transport Police. You know, when they do that announcement and they're like, see it, say it, sort it. Is that what they say? I was like, oh my God, I'm actually going to have to do this because I was just really worried that he was going to take it too far. Luckily, he did get off of the train, but... I just want to say to anyone watching this that if you are ever in that situation you can text the british transport police i think the number is like 66106 and you can literally just send them a message with what train you're on what the issue is and they will like send someone who will meet you at the next stop and they will like get the person off so if you are ever in that situation honestly definitely use that service because it is really good i know that it's helped a lot of girls that have been put in those kind of situations um but luckily in my situation he got off at the next stop and it was all it was all fine i asked the girl if she was okay she was absolutely fine i actually have got a lot better with going into london i used to find it so nerve-wracking like my anxiety could just never and i feel like i'm starting to get to a point where it's getting a little bit better like it's still an ordeal but once i'm there i'm there and i feel like i can like get through it um anyway i'm gonna brush my teeth get into bed and then i think it's time to end this vlog for me this feels like a long vlog for you it's probably gonna be like half an hour long um but this has been a long 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 day for me right guys i am in bed i just brushed my hair out and now it's like actually it looks okay i'm in bed the time is 2 56 a.m nearly 3 a.m basically but yeah i'm gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed it it was actually really fun bringing you guys along with me maybe i'll bring you along next week when i do the early shift because that is a whole other a whole other dimension that involves me getting up at half three in the morning so right now i'm going to bed at 3 a.m this time next wednesday i'll be up in half an hour it's not normal it's not healthy but it's it's the life i've chose but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you are new and i will see you all in my next video bye guys